hello and welcome to LRS fishing <laughs> on the beach I cannot tell you how excited I am to be here it's not going too well at the moment in such an exciting fit to get here I've forgotten a load of stuff so it's, it's evening time it's a seven I think it's about 20 past seven um, and I've forgotten a bit of my gear <laughs> but never mind it is what it is I'm just so pleased to be here so what have I forgotten well my torches for one my head torch and my um, you know the new floodlight that I bought yeah <laughs> schoolboy error Never mind. So I had to go to the tackle shop and get some, just some cheapy ones, you know. So filming tonight isn't going to be spectacular, but I'm going to do the best that I can. Now, where am I? East Coast, one of my favourite beaches, Walcott. It's the closest to where I'm staying. I brought the car my, uh, my tour of caravan to a beach, um, a farm place. Um, um, I can't remember the name of it now, but it's a lovely little site. Um, and I was just so excited. Um, I just forgot a few bits and pieces, so I had to go to the tackle shop. Unfortunately, they've run out of lug. I also forgot to bring ahead and get uh, lug. So I've got squid and frozen black lug, the wraps of black lug. So that's what I'm using. So I'm not feeling overly confident, but I'm just pleased to be pleased to be out. But there's a washing line of seaweed on my line already. <laughs> so um, yeah, unfortunately it's not good. There's a guy flicking a lure around for bass over there. Um, the, the water is in very it's this chocolatey colour. Let me show you. I, I, I filled up my bucket of water and it's just minging. Now, I think there's something in the water because it's leaving this, this stainage behind. It wasn't like that 20 minutes ago. There you go. I don't know. It's not too bad. What do you think? But the weather. Now, another unfortunate error. <laughs> I forgot on my car. <laughs> this is what excitement does to you. I left my uh, my hoodie at home, so I've just got a big raincoat. I'm here for convenience because we're we're in for some bad weather. Now, yeah, look look at this. All this, all these weird, all this, all sort of crap. It's, it's like, oh, I wouldn't want to be swimming in it, that's for sure. So any fish I'll get tonight, it's going back, if I get any fish. But yeah, look, it's, it looks, what's all this crap being left behind? Look at it. Anyway, enough of that. But yeah, I left my hoodie at home. So I've parked here because the, the cars are just over my right shoulder. It's just there. So it's for convenience, really. So if it starts chucking it down with rain, I can just get in the car and watch my rods from the car. So yeah, but I'm getting a lot of weed on the line. The tide is um, at slack water now. It's been ebbing for about, uh, well, I got here just after half six. It's now 20 past seven, half seven, something like that. And the tide's starting to turn and it will come back in. So it's good, but high tide is until uh, midnight and I'm not staying that late. I want to be up early because I was meant to be um, shark fishing tomorrow with John Old on a high fly two out in Galston. Um, I'd booked to go on a, a shark charter, but the weather is messed up. The weatherman said southwesterly winds. It ain't southwesterly, I can tell you now. It's full blown east, <laughs> easterly winds, um, which is a little bit annoying. But it's not a strong breeze, you know, but it's just whipped it up a bit. 
Uh, a couple of guys jet skiing over there. I swear I've got something in the back end. But there you go. Good times. I'm pleased to be here. I've had a lot of drama happen. Uh, just, just loads of stuff been going on. So I haven't been able to do a lot, nowhere near as much sea fishing as I'd like. I've only been here twice this year and usually I'm here every once a month if that more than that um, so this year has been a total total washout really unfortunately but there you go that's the way the cookie crumbles that's life isn't it I'm just grateful to be here I'm just gonna use whatever bait I've got and hope for the best if I catch anything great if not I'm pleased to be here I tell you good times well I'm gonna sit on my hands and chill out for a bit if I catch anything I'll tell you I will let you know you will definitely be the first to know I can tell you that now also I'm gonna show you something interesting in a bit because this is quite alarming when I saw it I was just like wow okay it's not good come on <laughs> good times I've got a few beers with me as well. I've got some little stubby buds. I've got some Budweiser, so I might have a beer or two. See how we go. <laughs> Don't know. The top of this rod is behaving very strangely. I've got my chest mount on. So let's see what's going on here. That's a lot of weed. Oh, this water's disgusting. There's something going on here. Something, I've never seen the water this. Oh, there's loads of weed. Loads of weed. I'm trying to flick it down the line a bit. Cause a lot of pressure on here. Sweet. Another thing, what I've noticed, is I've got these little white bait, I'm not sure what they are, all littered all along the water line. There's loads of them just everywhere. So that's good. There's fish about in the water, which is brilliant. So hopefully they'll be feeding fish around. But unfortunately that seaweed there, that's just a little bit of it. I took most of it back. I'm gonna check me the check me other rod in a minute, but the, the the bait was just completely covered in seaweed, so we ain't gonna catch anything like that now, are we? <laughs> oh dear, come on, <laughs> that's great, isn't it? So 
what am I using? Now, my left rig. Now, in the absolute frantic excitement of me getting here, I left all my rigs at home. Apart from this one, I always leave my rig tied to this rod. It's the close in free hook Paternoster rig. <sighs> See where this breaking wave is? Just behind that wave, 35, 40 yards out. My red rod, my continental rod, way out to the left. That is a pulley dropper. It was a single hook. They only had single hooks off. So I've cut it and added another uh, 3 0 hook on there to be like a. a uh, like a pedal, that's what I'm looking for, a pedal rig. <laughs> so, a pulley pedal dropper rig. If that's right, I think that's right. But I'm not crazy about this water. This... It was clear when I got here and then just was... a few waves came in. It's just a dirty poo colour, it's a bit... Yeah. Like, what's, what's with this? <laughs> what, what? Like... What the hell? <laughs> I mean, look at it. That is disgusting. What the hell, man? I mean, I don't mind it coloured, uh, you know what I mean? Because it's good for fishing, isn't it? But that's, that's a bit odd. But never mind. Anyway, I'm going to sit down, I'm going to get a beer open, and I'm going to enjoy it. You'll have to excuse me if I sound a bit bunged up. I've, my kids from school brought back this flu type thing, and I thought I got away with it, and uh, fortunately, not. the last 24 hours have sort of deteriorated a little bit. I'm all bunged up and I've got a bit of a headache. <laughs> Fresh air will sort me out. Oh. Come on. I've so... What I'm going to try and do is just ignore the rod bouncing around because it's the seaweed just messing around with the grip lead and that. So... But I do think there was something because it was tapping away. So unless something was playing with it and I've just struck into it too soon, who knows? We will never know. Well, for now, I'm gonna chill out and get a beer. Catch you in a bit, guys. <laughs> so what I'm finding about this place at the moment, I'm not gonna go and film over there because there's a load of kids over there um, messing around, so, uh, like little and so I'm not gonna film over there until they clear off. I'll show you in a minute. Um, when I say kids, I mean literally like toddlers with their families, so I won't disturb them. Now, I'll show you, I'll, I'll try and put in a bit of video. I was baiting up over there by the wall and the sand has stripped it. And this is about an eight feet drop from the top. But I'll show you, I'll show you. It's gotta be from the top where I baited up. It's gotta be 10 feet at least. But I'll show, I'll show you, it's amazing. <laughs> the power of the sea is phenomenal. It's something not to be messed with. Crazy. I, I thought maybe it'd been dredged because the amount of sand or, or taken away, dig, dug up and taken away. Because the amount of sand that's been taken away is phenomenal. It's actually phenomenal. But you'll see when I get when I get up there. When those family with the kid when those young'uns have gone with their families, I'll show you. But I'm going to reel in my free Paternoster rig now and hopefully there might be something on there. So let's see what we've got, shall we? Now I'm just trying to flick the seaweed off, but it's not working. Oh, let's tighten the old drag up. Oh, I've already jammed. Oh, loads of seaweed. So, as you can see, I'm quite high up. Now, that, to me, is eight foot. But this concrete slab was covered up to here. I was stood on there, and all of this concrete 
all the way down was all sand all the way out and I was stood here last time I was here well it was actually that side baiting up I had all my gear laying across there my feet would be on the sand up here and I'd be on here baiting up keeping all my rods and stuff away from the sand look how flipping hard that is so all of that from that step all the way along was sand that's mental mad about the weed Snagged on something, people. That is a serious amount of weed. He's just You know what they say, you gotta be in it to win it. <laughs> Before the light fades, let me check, let me show you my bait. This is the black lug. And I've tipped it with a bit of squid onto like a pulley panel type style. And it's a it's a pulley, pulley, pulley dropper rig, I think they call it. It's a bit twisted at the moment actually. That's better. So yeah, there's the top hook, it's a 3-0. And then we're down to the bottom hook. Just there, tipped off with a bit of squid. All right, let's get out of there and see what happens. So I don't know if you're going to get this. There's my line all over the floor. And the here is a shed load of weed. That. I was just baiting up the other rod and I heard a massive crash. Looked up and the tripod was on the floor. Oh. There's tons of it. Right, let me clean this off the line and I'll get back to you. Hopefully you can see me all right. It's raining. I'm weeded out. <laughs> it's become unfishable. It actually has become unfishable, unfortunately. It is what it is. Um, still got 
four hours of high tide. Uh, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah, yeah, but it's 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 close enough to one. Of, I've just checked. Um, I actually spoke to another a local guy earlier, and I did say to him, "He's high tide about midnight." He says, "Yeah, about quarter to one." So, yeah, there you go. But I'm just getting absolutely weeded out. Every cast, I'm bringing in tons and tons of weed. It's literally unfishable. So, and now it's chucking it down. So what I might do is call this session, um, call it a day, really. Uh, I'm not even getting any crabs taking my bait, like literally nothing. So I might save a little bit of bait and take it with me on the boat tomorrow. See what happens. So I've done another recast, but literally nothing is coming back. Everything's coming back untouched, which is a shame, but it's the conditions, unfortunately. <laughs> Let me take this stupid, let me just take this stupid, uh, get off me man. So I'm going to leave these out for the tides well and truly coming in. I've had to, I've moved the rods back. I've moved them back um, halfway back up the beach now. The tides coming in quick now. The beach with all the bit of sand that has been moved, it's it's actually become a very shallow beach. Like if when it's high tide, when you cast it out. I mean, it's all level for at least 150 yards. So you'll be only fishing in six inches of water. It's, yeah. <laughs> it's, it, I've never seen it like it this before. It's quite astonishing, really. But there you go. So I'm not going to stay here till high tide. I, I just don't see the point. So I'm going to fish these baits out for another half hour. Maybe I might recycle it one more time, but I don't know. We'll see what happens. But for now, I'm just gonna sit on, sit in my chair, finish my, I've got one more beer left, so I'm halfway through that, so I'm gonna drink that. And you know what? If I catch anything, <laughs> if, if, you will be the first to know. <laughs> oh boy. Stay positive, people. <laughs> This is hilarious. <laughs> I haven't been fishing for months. Honestly, it's been months. Uh, I think it was late February I last went fishing, sea fishing with Rob from RJ Outdoors. I'm sure it was like February or March time, I, I can't remember. And we're now in obviously July, end of July. And I thought it was gonna be all right. <laughs> I thought maybe I could catch it because I've, I've fished this mark a few times and I've had some good bass and I've had some smooth hounds. So I thought maybe I'd be in the shelf for that, but it's not to be. It is what it is. Oh well. Stay positive, people. Keep telling myself that. Stay positive. <laughs> well, I'm just going to chill out. I'll catch you guys in a bit. Yeah, look. More weed. Messing me up. I'm calling it quits. 